Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Hopefully, you guys are all having a good Turkey Day. For those of you who are here in the States and who celebrate that. And other than that, I want to bring you this story because this particular story is going viral now. Apparently, it's been around for two weeks and it's picking up steam. However, I have just heard about this a couple of days ago and it didn't quite sit well with me because we have this foreign woman who looks to be of North African extraction, Tanzania, some type of, um, could be Egyptian, but someplace where the Turks came in, where they're mixed in, you know, the Arabs invaded. They're not really traditional non-African or what we would call traditional black. Definitely not. However, um, her short story, in which she posted on TikTok, it was picked up by a black woman. And this black woman decided to put it on her page. And at doing that, this particular short story slash video has gone viral or it's on its way to becoming uh to go viral and it's championed unfortunately by a lot of black women and i say unfortunately because you got to look at the motive behind it and i personally do not believe that the motive behind it was to be an ally to black women or to reveal something to black women or to uplift black women. I think there's something a bit more sinister there. And under her caption, she wrote this. Well, on her picture, you really think I'm going to shut the F up while you disrespect, degrade black queen. Now, before I go on, I'm going to play her video for you. I waited a whole damn week just to calm down before I shoot this video so that I don't overstep my boundaries. But this happens in front of me so often that I'm so sick of it, I can't just shut the fuck up anymore. Just for context purposes, my entire family is African, and so I am around a lot of black people. So tell me why black men specifically feel the need to degrade black women when they are around non-black women as if that's supposed to impress me or make me feel good or make me want them i waited for her cue before i joined her because i'm not going to disrespect her like that and we put him in his place but what she said in the end was correct she said to him i'm glad she gets it but do you understand how embarrassing it is that she does, but you don't, what you just did? I okay, so you heard that. We have this non-black woman who's coming into the black community via her TikTok video in which she posted to go worldwide. And she's asking black people questions as to why, why do black men I guess, disrespect black women in front of non-black women. Now, I'm going to have to dissect this piece by piece to make my point in case as to why I do not believe that her thoughts nor intentions are noble. Let's go at it just step by step. And I'm going to stop and give you a nice commentary. I waited a whole damn week just to calm down before I shoot this video so that Okay, so she waited a whole damn week just to calm down. So the interactions between black men and black women are really bothering you that much. Don't you have a life? Don't you have things to do? Jobs to go to? Maybe children to attend to? But the actions of black men and black women are on your mind that gravely. And it's bothering you that much. Dad. I don't overstep my boundaries. Well, sis, well, let me take that back. You're not a sister. You did overstep your boundaries. The very fact that you're asking black people 
to give you an answer as to why we behave the way we do and why we interact with each other the way we do and why we treat each other the way we do. It's none of your damn business. We don't owe you an answer or an explanation. But this happens in front of me so often that I'm so sick of it. I can't just shut the fuck up anymore. Okay, aren't you concerned with the way that your men treat women? Look like to me that, as I said before, you're from some type of North African country that was invaded. So if you're like Arab or Muslim, I shouldn't generalize, but uh, they don't treat their women all that great. Aren't their women not uh, like third class citizens? I mean, there are other cultures that you can dump on or ask questions for. Indians. I worked with a couple and I knew that one stated that uh, she had to walk six feet behind her husband. They treat their women as third class citizens. We can go to certain um, churches, or I should say religious sects right there, where women cannot be, hold a priesthood. We can go to certain denominations. Women cannot be head of a church. Women are to submit to their husbands. Some will like that, some won't. But the point in which I'm trying to make, there are other groups of people who treat their women badly. But it's strange how you, a non-black woman, is focused on black men. Just for context purposes, my entire family is African. Okay, African, that can mean anything. Elon Musk is African, but you're not black. You could be like one of the invaders that came into North Africa, who is primarily some type of Turkish. You could be mixed in with Roman. You could be mixed in with Spanish too, but you're not black. This is just as bad as someone stating that, well, some of my best friends are black. So that doesn't mean anything. I guess that she's trying to say that um, I'm not uh, prejudiced or the R word. Okay. And so I am around a lot of black people. Okay, you're around a lot of black people. So if you're in a North African country, depending on the demographics of the city or place where you're at, you could be around the majority of black people. So if you're around the majority of black people, that should answer your question right then and there. That's how, um, that could be the reason why you're getting this if you are in fact. If you're around the majority of black people, so therefore they're going to probably hear what they have to say. But I'm going to doubt seriously if it's the majority. I still, something about her I don't believe. So tell me why black men specifically feel the need to degrade black women when they are around non-black women. First of all, we don't owe you shit. We don't owe you an explanation. The nerve that a black person is, is, is even going to have the gall to come into the black community to ask people as to why we treat each other this way or that way is none of her damn business. That is disrespectful right there. And that's kind of like um, treating people like somehow you're a higher authority that we need to acquiesce and that, that, and that, that we need to give you an explanation. You know, people, I have respect for other cultures. I would never go to a Muslim culture and ask, why do you treat your women that way? I would never go to an Indian culture. I would never go into, let's say, a Jewish culture, Puerto Rican culture, asking a group of people to explain to me, why do you treat your women that particular way? It's not for me to figure out. It's for them to work through and work together to come to a conclusive agreement, arrangement as to how they're going to remedy the problem. You being an outside interloper coming in, it shows me right then and there that you really have no respect for the black women who you claim that you want to champion. And you don't respect black culture. If you did, then you would mind your own business. Allow us to work through these issues and problems. As if that's supposed to impress me or make me feel good or make me want them. Okay, she said want them. I would doubt seriously that black men are coming at you in a desirable mode for you to feel impressed so they can win you over. I mean, to me, looking at you, you're not like an internet, I would say an OnlyFans model. I would doubt seriously if you're highly desirable among black men. 
No, what she has simply done is that she has picked up on the trauma of black people, the trauma of black women. She has picked up on the discontent that some of us black people have towards each other. She has picked up on our issues right there and she's applying them to make this video. She's applying them basically to have a point. You know, when people do this, they have no good means for black people at all. I waited for her too before I joined her because I'm not going to disrespect her like that. But you did disrespect the black people and black community by you coming in, asking for them to give you an explanation. Again, we don't owe you an explanation. We don't have to explain ourselves to you. It's not your place to jump into a group of people who you are not a part of that particular race. You're Middle Eastern or something like that, North African. I don't jump into your culture or your community asking, why do you treat those women that way? And by the way, some of those cultures right there, they still have slavery going on. Why aren't you speaking up about the issue of slavery? Do you have that much energy to, to direct towards that? Do you have any type of energy to direct towards the discrimination and racism that black people experience in your own country and culture? Why aren't you speaking towards that? But yet you have time to speak about what so-called black men are doing to black women. And by the way, I'm not going to lie and say that there aren't black men who do that. There are some black men who do speak badly about black women in front of other people and vice versa. But I'm going to say that is not the majority because the vast majority of black men I'm going to speak about in America. The vast majority of black men in America, over 87, around 87 percent are married and are entangled with black women. The vast majority of black men on the continent of Africa, she's in North Africa someplace, are married to black women. So the ones who are doing that are few and far between. They will be the minority. But there are black men who are doing that. I'm not going to deny that. However, she cannot say, and why didn't she just say, for the black men that I've heard who've done this, some black men who do this, a few black men who do this, because it would negate her intentions as to what she's trying to do. That's why she couldn't say some or a few. She had to generalize all black men. We put him in his place, but what she said in the end was correct. She said to him, I'm glad she gets it. But do you understand how embarrassing it is that she does, but you don't? What you just Okay, towards the end there, she gives herself a pat on the back. She gets it. <laughs> She says a black woman tells her that I'm glad she gets it, but she tells a black man, but see how embarrassing that you don't. So, so this foreign woman is giving herself a pat on the back because supposedly she understands our issues. No, she doesn't. She doesn't at all. If she understands our issues and she would really understand to mind your own business, that is inappropriate for you as a non-black woman to go into the culture and to go into another group of people who you do not belong to. You may live in Africa, but you do not belong to that particular group or culture. I live here in America. I do not belong to a Hispanic culture. I do not belong to a Jewish culture. I do not belong to an Asian culture. I would never ask them, why do you treat the women the way you do? It would be extremely disrespectful for me to do that. I'm not obsessed with people. I would allow them to work out their own issues and problems. The very fact that she's obsessed with black people doing all this tells me that you have racist tendencies and ideologies. And for black women who are championing this, I would be very careful. Her intentions are not noble. A racist is a racist is a racist. The way that she is trying to get you to feel some type of a way towards black men it shows me that she has really a lack of regards for your feelings because anytime a dog bring a bone, they can take one away. I'm very, I'm very leery of people who want to sit right there and sow the seeds of discontent among a community. Bet she would never talk about the, the, the loving part, the togetherness, how, oh, how the vast majority of us are together and loving one another and are with one another. But she goes towards the angle towards the angle, a darker angle. And look at her right there, looking like some witch. And you guys trust her? 
And it's just so unfortunate that black women did not pick up on this, on his pandering. Here we have one who says, wow, sis, this needs to go viral. So appreciate that you stepped up and acknowledged this problem and respect. She gets no respect from me. That's the last thing you want people to do is to have these outsiders coming in there into your business. That never ends good. Girl, speak your truth. These are men who don't know their worth, so they will never know a black woman's worth. It's sad, especially when they came uh, from a black woman. So she's asking her to speak her truth. Uh, what truth is she speaking? It's not her uh, place to speak to the black community. We're not children. She's no one's teacher. She's no one's savior. Black women, be more wiser than that. For those of you, for those of you who are giving this woman compliments, look out and be careful with that, who you are inviting to the cookout. She ain't lying either. So unfortunate. Well, it's so unfortunate that her intentions are not noble. Her intentions are not to uplift you. It's to make you feel bad. It's to sow seeds of discontent among each other. She has no good intentions. Okay. She writes, as a black woman, I appreciate this. Many may feel like I shouldn't, but I do. I appreciate knowing that there are non-black women of color and white women who do not condone this. I also appreciate the black men who won't go for this as well. So when I encounter small-minded people, I'm going to stop right there because it's a long, but she seems to be more balanced out. And thankfully, she said small-minded people. Those are small-minded men who particularly think that way. Men who do say that in front of non-black women are the minority. I, I do not believe that black men who are seeking out other women, their first point of conversation is going to be black women are this, black women are that. They're going to go off on a negative tangent about black women. I don't believe that at all. I think that even among the black men who do that, as I stated before, it's a very small number who go off on that type of negative speaking against black women. Let's move on. Thank you for sharing and standing up for us. Really? Coming from a black woman? You need for a non-black woman to stand up for you? To be your ally in this? That's very troubling. And that's very telling. Black women have never really relied on any type of outsiders to come in there. I mean, why are you thanking her? That's asinine to me. This witch has no good intentions towards black women. Believe me, all these black women who are giving her praise and glory, get her mad, get her angry, and let's see what the first word that will come out of her mouth towards you. Okay, I haven't done this once in my life. I love all kinds of women equally. They don't want to hear that. Now, this is a black man who says that he hasn't done this all in, in once in his life. He only got one like. But see, they don't want to hear that. That's kind of like, oh no, he must be in the minority. When in fact, this is probably the majority of black men. I don't know about the loving all women equally. I do believe that contrary to what you're hearing uh, from the news media, from what you're hearing online, I do believe that the vast majority of black men, I know the vast majority of black men prefer black women. The vast majority of black men want black women. If 88% or 87% are with black women, that should tell you a lot there. So the problem with this witch right here is that she's generalizing a whole group of men, a whole group of men who she has never met. She felt the need to pretty much come on there and so to seeds of discontent to cause division and confusion among a group of people who are trying and struggling to deal with this particular issue. And we don't need someone, some outsiders, interlopers coming in there with this type of mentality. And what she has done is that she has picked up, picked up on our infighting, have picked up on our ways that we can be, you know, divided sometimes among each other. And she's just exacerbating the problem. This is what they all do. These types of people who obsess about black people, black cultures, the going-ons, they are not your ally. They are not your friend. 
They are not seeking to uplift you. So you guys need to be very aware of that. She has not even come in contact with all black men. She's basically going by things which she probably sees on the internet and then taking a cue from that and applying it to a video mixed in with her own racism, her own prejudices right then and there, and know that she can get a good response from black women. And black women who are caving into that, who are giving her praise and glory, you're acting like a lap dog. This is what she wants. Go sis, go girl. You speak the truth. See, what you're doing is that you're empowering someone with no good intentions. And that's so unfortunate there because I can look and see right through her intentions and what uh, she's trying to accomplish and what her goals are. And it sure isn't to uplift black women. It's not to mend fences at all within the black community. And she shouldn't because it's not her job to do that. And it's not our job to sit up there and to praise, uh, give praise and glory to these outsiders who mean us no damn good. So let's be a little bit more wiser and let's be slow, extremely slow to invite others to the cookout and let's never invite outsiders or others to help fix our problems. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Sin Beyond and Through with Monty and I will see you all Beyond and Through.